You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. You guys really seem to enjoy this one. You know what? I do too. This has some of the most gorgeous artwork I've seen in a visual novel to date. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right back into it. We're still we're taking a little break from our little tennis match, but hell. Who's going to go to is anyone's guess at this point. So, off we go. Alright, Alarm Chan, you are up. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> Keisuke continues to use the same strategy for the remainder of the game. I'm only able to score a single point before he won. Oh shit, he actually won. Damn. <laughs> well, I guess we answered that one. We probably start the fifth game. Okay, so he won that game. Alrighty. This time, I have to try and hit my best possible serve to keep myself on the lead during my service game. While I fully expect myself to have the advantage on my serve, I still don't want to be caught up on a long rally against him. I don't have that much stamina. I go for a strong, flat serve to the center of the court. Although it's high risk, the ball makes it right on the edge of the court, painting the line. Despite that, Kaken reaches it, returning a deep ball with tons of topspin. Using the advantage given to me by my serve game, I quickly return a strong, flat shot to the other side of the court. The speed of the shot doesn't give him time to ready his next swing. If he doesn't have much time to prepare, he can't send a very precise shot. He ends up lightly tapping it to my side of the court. Damn. I rush over to it and strike with everything I have, putting away an easy win. 15-0! Kaykun looks somewhat angry. I see him muttering something to himself before he gets back to position. This is the main reason I avoided playing against him for so long. Kaken falls in the category of tactical players. He is constantly running simulations and thinking up different strategies to deal with any problems he might face. Ordinarily, when faced with a huge hurdle, a player like myself would attempt to find an answer through trial and error. A player like Kasuk, though, is constantly analyzing the shifts in pattern. Because of that, he can shift to, into an answer almost instantly. I'm forced to keep changing up shots far too often in an attempt to throw him off. In, in the end, I'm not truly forcing my way through. I'm just taking a detour that forces me to spend extra energy. I just hate having to deal with any, any wall that my power can't break through. Because I'm forced to constantly think and look for alternatives, the strain of having to sustain such a degree of concentration while keeping up my usual high-paced game makes me get tired faster than usual. Still, I can't just shoot blindly, otherwise he will eventually find a way to shut me out. I decided to change up my serves a little bit by adding a few spin shots to my serves, which are usually all flat anyway. I can throw them off for a while. I try putting as much power as I can into this spin serve, though the ball is significantly slower than before. Crap! I'm not too good at it. I'm not too good at using spin. Because of the way a player grips his racket and hand he uses to hold it, the ball tends to naturally spin to one direction. That's one of the reasons left-handed players are favored in the game, since there aren't many of them and players tend to have already ingrained their reactions to different shots. Any difference, no matter how small, can throw them off. Most players capitalize on this natural spin, hitting spin shots that make the ball slide in that direction. Since hitting a spin towards the opposite, since hitting a spin towards the opposite direction makes it so the ball doesn't slide so much to the side, it tends to not be as favored. But because it isn't as favored, it becomes unexpected, and I use this to catch Kaken by surprise. He reads my serve and rushes into a position to return, but because the ball doesn't escape as far to the side as he expects it, he ends up hitting the ball too close to the grip of the too close to the grip of the racket. His return is shallow, leaving me an opportunity to attack. 30-0. <sighs> Kaken looks just about ready to throw his racket on the floor. He's gripping it so tight that his hands are shaking. I'm not exactly happy to see him like this, but I decide to bury those feelings for now. He's my friend, but we're on the court. I can't show sympathy. This time, I go with a wide slice. Once again, I'm serving the ball to a direction opposite of its spin. Instead of sliding away from the court, it angles itself back in. The awkward angle of the shot causes Kaykun to hit another weak return, which I easily put away. 40-0! The freshmen all chat excitedly while they watch the match. There are so many voices at the same time that I can barely even make out what they're saying. Well, not that I'm trying to, anyway. Kaykun seems like he can't even notice them, not reacting at all to their voices. That guy's concentration is on a whole other level. That's already scary enough by itself. I ready myself for another serve. I take advantage of the indecision my past two serves created and hit a strong topspin shot wide. Kaken is caught by surprise. Having tried to anticipate my serve, he ran towards the center but had to double, ch but had to double back immediately. Because he can't reach the ball, I score a service ace to take the game. 
The freshmen erupt in cheers before being reprimanded by the other club members. <laughs> Man, what a game. I love how it's uh, I love how it's displayed on the little screen. That's that's really fucking cool. Game Michimaya. Game count 4-1. Michimaya leads. We take another break. I slide into my seat to rest for a bit, uncapping my bottle of water and taking a quick sip. Oh. Hello there, uh more uh, thumbnail. Hello there, thumbnail. <laughs> this game is giving me so many awesome thumbnails. I love it. When I glance over at K-Cun on the side, he has a really intense look on his face. He might look like the meek, silent type, but he really gets fired up when it comes to tennis, huh? He mutters something to himself that I can't really make out, sweat rolling down his face and dripping from his matted fur. He's wiping his face using the hem of his shirt. Why isn't he going for a towel inside his bag? I really don't understand. One thing I will say is for someone who looks so lithe and somewhat fragile, K-Cun is surprisingly well-built underneath his clothes. You can quickly tell how much effort he puts into nurturing and caring for his body. Even for someone who doesn't seem to be naturally very athletic, he managed to build himself up to a point where he doesn't even have a little bit excess muscle anywhere. It's something to marvel at, really. Even I probably even I probably am a little bit thicker on the muscle mass than I should be. Time! We both get up from our chairs at the same time. If we want to end this match as soon as possible, then my goal should be to break his serve. He's like a... God, Kaken's like a damn Primark. He like, uh... He'll, like, lose the first round, but he'll come back, like, better than better than ever. Like, if you don't... Yeah, like, if you don't kill a Primark right off the bat, they will probably beat your ass in the second go. <laughs> I've had enough time to get... I'm sorry, I love talking about Warhammer. I've had enough time to get used to his tricky style. Tricky dicky. Not only that, he feels like he's slipping. He's getting impatient, that shows. I should use that to my advantage to break his serve. We both get to our positions. Kaken sends the ball high before striking it, fitting a strong, flat serve to the center of the court. I was already expecting him to do something like that. People tend to put too much force on the shot when they're angry whilst ignoring spin and placement. Having gotten to the ball a lot earlier, I have ample time to prepare, hitting my strongest shot back at him. The ball hits the ground and bounces away from his reach, scoring me a return ace. It seems that with each passing moment, Kaken becomes more and more agitated. He should really try to calm down. Playing like this is only going to drag him down further. 0-15. Well, it can't be helped. If he's not trying to help himself, there isn't anything I can do to help him. And to be honest, I feel that he'd fly off the rails if I did try. Kaken takes a while to get into position. He starts tying his shoes repeatedly, probably trying to calm himself. Oh, there we go. Well, he definitely looks to have calmed down a bit. He serves the ball again, shooting a slice serve towards the center. If it weren't for the spin on the ball, that would practically be a body shot. As soon as the ball gets close, I sidestep and hit an angled shot to the side of the court. The ball practically points the line, bouncing very high from all the top spin I put on it. I really have to be more careful with my spin shots. They're barely going in right now. I might actually make a mistake if I keep going like this. Kaken reaches it and effortlessly hits it back at me with another slice, going right at the center of the court. I hit it back with as much power as I can while aiming cross court, but can't get good at, but can't get good contact with the ball and it ends up hitting the upper part of the net. We are both taken by surprise. The ball topples down to Kaken's side of the court. He dashes over to the net in an attempt to reach it, but it ends up being too late. Zero thirty. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't. I apologize. It's the proper thing to do. It's fine. He nearly spits those words out. That's how angry he is right now. I'm sure he doesn't blame me for it, but it's hard to keep your feelings in check when you're under pressure. Kaken serves a strong flat, this time aiming wide. I dash towards the ball and hit it back, but since I can't get to a good position, the ball ends up being too weak. Oh! Kaken reaches it and puts it away in an instant. 15.30. My return was pretty terrible, so there wasn't anything I could do. Kasich might not look it, might not look it but he's certainly a high-level player. If I give him any openings, he'll certainly go for them in an instant. Kaken serves once again. This time, I have a much easier time reaching it. I return an angled shot that hits the ground before the service line and bounces away from the court. Kaken is caught by surprise and has to rush to the ball. But after striking, he runs up to the net, probably, probably to try and restrict the angle of my return, but I'm one step ahead of him. Whoa! Shit! Right as, he tries to, right as he reaches the net, I lob the ball high over his head. 
he immediately starts running back, but and I and I don't doubt for a second that he will reach. He manages to hit the ball at the last second, barely putting any power to it as the ball bounces a few centimeters away from the net. I reach it before its first bounce, and right after it goes high again, I hit it with a drop shot. Since I dropped the ball while being so close to the net, there's barely any power left in it. Kaken doesn't even make it to the service line before it double bounces. The first years are up in cheers, and I'm pretty sure some of the second and third years joined them in it. I said shut up! Well, she certainly has a way of handling the crowd. That weighs fear. 1540. Oh. It seems that the pressure is starting to get to him. His face is a completely open book. No matter how he looks at it, I've been dominating him on the service game, and he can't do a thing about it. Right now, he would have to score twice in a row just to get us to just to get us to deuce. I definitely hold the advantage here. He serves the ball again, but just like his first serve of this game, he was so anxious to finish things fast that he got predictable. Oh man. Easily anticipated and put the ball away with a return ace. Game, Michimaya. Game count, 5-1. Michimaya leads. As if he had lost all the drive that fueled him so far, Keishuk's shoulders sag. I don't blame him for being discouraged, but right now he looks as if he's already been defeated. But have to try your best until the end. What's the point of continuing to play when you've already given up? Ugh, I'm starting to get angry because of his attitude. I'll just finish this soon so he can both stop this miserable match. Game, set, and match won by Michimaya. Count, 6-1. Saya has barely finished announcing the score, and Keisuke has already walked off the court, stuffing his racket back into his bag and slipping away with it. Saya doesn't miss a beat, getting down from her seat and walking after him in a rush. Tennis players really have glass hearts sometimes. A little crowd of freshmen gathers around me, showering me with praise and admiration. I'm using this as an opportunity to ask for tips. I make no effort to listen, walking towards the locker room. I just want to rest. I don't care. And right there, standing in front of the door, is Shuichi. Man, you're heartless. Don't know how you... Don't know... <laughs> don't you know how to go easy on people? It's good to do it every now and then. Sure, then I'd have him getting mad at me for underestimating him. He shrugs. The cheering over here was so loud that we could hear it from our side of the building. Coach asked me to come over and see what the fuss was about. Although I ended up sticking around to watch you play. <laughs> you sure are carefree with your duties, huh? Oh, you're one to talk. I enjoy watching you play. Why are you so surprised? I have to ask, though. Why didn't you tell me you'd be playing against your Urushihara? Saya didn't tell me. She decided to keep it a secret until the last minute because I was, as she says it, a flight risk. Sounds about right. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, but I think she's right. I imagine you'd gone home the first chance she, you got if you knew about this. After all, you've been talking about how annoying it is to play against Ushi Urushihara since you first watched him practice. That's only partly true. Oh, really? What part of what I said was wrong? Sh shut up. Heh, <laughs> as easy to rile up as usual. Oh, right, I nearly forgot. Here. Shuichi hands me a can. I can see beads of condensation rolling down from it. It must be really cold. I picked up an energy drink for you. Figured you'd want one after the match. I know orange is your favorite, so I picked that one. Ooh, thanks! You're a real lifesaver! I immediately start drinking it down without a care in the world. In just a few seconds, the entire can has already been emptied. Wow! Were you really that thirsty? You have no idea. Without a warning, Shuichi puts a hand on my head and begins to casually pet me. I don't even notice that's what he's doing until he's already started, at which point I'm so shocked by his complete lack of self-consciousness about the whole thing. If there's one thing that needs to be said about him, it's that he's a very touchy-feely kind of guy. Myself, Saya, his sister, and even Keisuk, on the rare occasion they're not going at each other's throats, have already been made victims to this. It wouldn't be half bad if he kept these things to private places either, but somehow he always tries to pull them off in public. As soon as I snap back to reality, I slap his hand away from my head, just as I had, he had begun tugging on my ears. Ah, uh, no fun. Jeez, you'd figure I'd killed his pet from the way he just reacted. It's not even like I might in the first place, I just don't like it when he pulls this sort of stunt in public. <laughs> well, what can you do? For some reason, he seems to find my rejection funny. I don't like being messed with in public, you know that. Sorry, sorry, I'll try to refrain from doing it again. That's a lie. And by the way, what did you think of Urushihara? This was the first time you played against him since the pre Prefectuals tournament last year, wasn't it? I turn around to look for Keikun, but can't seem to find him. I don't know, he's a good player, I'll give him that, but... I don't think he's ready for a major competition just yet. 
he'd probably get destroyed by the higher ranking players. Didn't he lose on the first round at last year's national tournament? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean by it. I suppose you're right. Kind of feel bad about him, though. What you wish he's talking about is last year's All Japan Junior Tournament, the most important tournament in Japan for tennis players under the age of 18. Kasich managed to qualify for it last year. Unfortunately for him, though, he got matched up against the number four player on the first round and lost without taking a single set. Competition for that event is brutal. I myself got all the way to the finals, but lost to Tagaki Tanabe, the number one player of the national rank. Urushi Hara sure got unlucky, huh? I nod, pursing my lips. This sort of thing happens every now and then. If you want to be safe and have an easier time on the first rounds, you need to be a seeded player. Kaken is going to have to try and get a seed ranking this year. That's pretty much the only thing he can do. What, do, what, what, do you need to be, what would he need to do to become a seeded? To become seeded? Oh, I can think of a few things. <laughs> Considering his current rank, he'd have to win at the Saitama, Pre the Saitama Prefecture? Oh, really? Tournament, and then place in the top four for the Kanto Tournament. And since we know for a fact he's not going to win the Prefectural, where should he finish on the Regional to get a seed? Second place. Shuichi whistles in admiration. Rougier is pretty much screwed, huh? This goes to show, being number two in Saitama doesn't really mean much. The competition here is pretty light compared to other areas of the country. Yeah, that's true. Right now, Tokyo and... Hokkaido have the highest concentration of high-ranked players. Saitama is somewhere in the lower end of the rankings. You're probably the only reason Saitama isn't dead last. I wouldn't go for that. I wouldn't go that far. I honestly don't think the level of the players in our area has fallen. I think the competition has just improved a lot. What do you mean? I mean that the current generation is probably the much stronger than the last ones. And back when I was still a freshman in high school, I'd routinely beat juniors and seniors. It was against the other freshmen that I struggled. Huh, never really thought of it like that. Kind of sucks when you're trying to go pro and have a hard time standing out. And not that you're having a problem like that, of course. You already stand out plenty. Yeah, yes, Shuichi is one of the few people I've told of my desire to go pro. So far, I've only told my family, my coach, and a few close friends. Of course, most of the people involved in the tennis scene already expect me to go pro, so it's not like there's much of a difference. But even at the risk of sounding superstitious, I'm afraid that if I tell many people, I'll end up jinxing it. What about you? Have you decided when you're going to go pro yet? I already told you I'm not. Have I ever mentioned that that's a stupid idea? Yes, many times. Too many, in fact. Ah, he's too stubborn. Shuichi is one of the best volleyball players in the country, yet he refuses to even consider the possibility of becoming a professional player. It's just so much wasted potential. I can already tell what you're thinking, so I'll stop you right there. I'm not in the mood to have another discussion on me becoming a professional. Ah, why not? Instead, I'd rather talk about something a little more important. No? Like what? He really knows how to rope me into changing the subject of conversation. He's my curiosity against me. Your progress, or lack thereof. Honestly, I don't see much improvement at, at all from last year. What happened to you? I, I was thinking the same thing. I throw the now empty can of sports drink in the nearby trash, where it falls inside with a satisfying clink. Uh, yeah, you've been not practicing. That's what happened. I know I ask this a lot, but are you okay? Are you sure you're not going through any trouble? I'm fine, big guy. I guess I'm just not putting in enough work, that's all. I'm honestly not as convinced of the truth of my words as I might sound. Just thinking about some of the guys I'll have to face again this year almost invokes a feeling of dread. Hopefully this year you'll be able to turn things around. Tanabe isn't invincible. I'm sure you can beat him if you try hard enough so sure of that either. Yeah, I suppose. How about we cut the conversation here, though? I'd rather not think about all this stuff right now. Sure thing. In that case, how about you get into the locker room and at least towel yourself off? No offense, but you're smelling kind of right. He says that with the most innocent smile in the world. Even though he was definitely taking a jab at me to tease me. Wow, thanks for the delicacy on the matter. Alright, I'll rephrase that. Dude, you fucking stink. Don't you ever fucking shower? <laughs> Never mind. Shuichi stands there, grinning like an idiot, his tail wagging left and right. I have to give him props for being able to be so cheery about everything. Heading into the locker room, I notice that it's mostly empty, save for two members of the volleyball club. Alright guys, I'm gonna kinda stop it right here. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna have to uh, do a little bit of editing, and this episode is going up on the same day I'm recording it. So I'm gonna do it where I don't have to do much editing at all. Anyway guys... Uh, we did get a little bit of lovely artwork, though. Oh man, this game is awesome.
Those games have such high quality artwork, even though I don't understand much about tennis in general. Still, I can learn probably a lot about it from this game. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. And until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!